In this BDR Suite demo, I'll show you how to configure backup for Hyper-V virtual machines and how to restore them. BDR Suite offers agentless backup solutions for Hyper-V VMs. This eliminates the need to install backup agents on each VM. It also provides flexible storage, instant and granular recovery, and centralized management for efficient VM backup. To get started, click the Download 30-Day Free Trial button and then install BDR Suite Backup Server. Check out the link in the description for a detailed video on how to install BDR Suite. Be sure to fill in the form provided for technical assistance. Let us get started. Open the BDR Suite Backup Server console. Enter the username, password, and click Sign In. You can now experience BDR Suite's full featured version in your environment with a 30-day free trial. As a first step, configure a backup repository to store backup data. You can do this from the Infrastructure Backup Repository menu. You can either use on-premise or remote storage like DAS, SAN, NAS, or use your own public cloud storage, Amazon S3, Azure Blob, Google Cloud, and S3-compatible storage like Wasabi, Mini.io, Backblaze, etc. Next, let us start with adding the Hyper-V hosts for backup. Let's start with the prerequisites. You'll need the DNS name or IP address of the Hyper-V cluster, Hyper-V standalone, or SMB server you want to backup. To add a Hyper-V host, you'll need either a credential with domain administrator or administrator privilege, or a user with administrator permissions. Make sure the firewall rules permit 42005 port. Navigate to the Data Sources Hypervisors menu and click on Hyper-V. Following that, click the Add Hyper-V button. You can add Hyper-V cluster or standalone host or SMB server here. But if a standalone server is managed by a cluster server, it is recommended that you add the Hyper-V cluster server. This way, even if VMs move between hosts managed by the cluster, BDR Suite will automatically track them and continue the backup process seamlessly. Once you click on Add button, you'll see two options, Local Network and Remote Network. Choose the Local Network option if your backup server and Hyper-V are connected via LAN. If they're in a distributed setup, select the Remote Network option. In this case, a remote proxy should be set up on a machine with access to the Hyper-V hosts. This remote proxy will manage the connection to the hosts and handle the data transfer during backups. Let me show you how to add a Hyper-V host on a local network first. In this video, I'm adding a Hyper-V standalone host. Enter the DNS or IP address of the Hyper-V host. Next, select the credential. If you haven't set this up yet, just click Add Credential. A dialog box will pop up. Enter a credential display name, then the Hyper-V host username and password, and save it. The added credential is now automatically selected. In the Max Concurrent Tasks field, specify the number of tasks that the Microsoft Hyper-V host must handle in parallel. Select the Maximum Concurrent Backup Tasks. Once you entered all the details, click Save. BDR Suite will now install integration service on the target Hyper-V host. Upon successful installation, the Hyper-V host will be added as a data source on the backup server. Now, let's move on to adding Hyper-V hosts in a remote network. First, you'll need to download BDR Suite Remote Proxy and install it on any machine that's in the same network as the Hyper-V host. If you need a step-by-step -step guide on installing the remote proxy, check out the link in the description box. After the remote proxy is installed, open the BDR Suite Remote Proxy console. Enter the username and password and click Sign In. You'll land on the dashboard page. Here, click the Add Microsoft Hyper-V button. Then, enter the DNS or IP address of the Hyper-V host. Select the credential. If it's not already added, you can quickly do so by clicking Add Credential. Finally, click Save. Now, the Hyper-V host is successfully added as a data source for backup on the remote proxy. The host details will sync automatically with the backup server, but you can also manually sync them by clicking the Sync icon. Once synced, head over to the backup server where you'll find the host listed under the Data Sources menu. In the Managed By column, you'll see either the remote proxy name or this server, depending on where the host was added. Now that your hosts are added, you're ready to configure backups for your Hyper-V virtual machines. Now that your hosts are added, you're ready to configure backups for your Hyper-V virtual machines. 
navigate to the Backup, Configure Backup, Virtual Machines menu, and click on Microsoft Hyper-V. You can create a backup job using pre-configured template. A backup template lets you set up all the necessary configurations in advance, so you only need to add hosts when creating a new job. For a step-by-step -step video on creating and using a backup job template, check out the link in the description box. In this demo, I'll show you how to configure a backup job without using a template. First, specify a name for the backup. Next, select the Backup Repository. In the Data Sources Managed by field, choose this server if you want to configure backups for Hyper-V hosts added directly to the backup server. Alternatively, select the name of the remote proxy if you want to configure backups for Hyper-V hosts added to a remote proxy. Here, I'm choosing this server, which will list only the hosts added to the backup server. On the Hosts and VM selection page, select an entire host or specific VM for backup and click Next. Exclusions are optional. If you've selected an entire host, you can exclude specific VMs using VM exclusion. Additionally, with disk exclusion, you can exclude specific disks from a VM using various criteria. Once done, click Next to proceed. Guest processing are advanced settings. Enable this option only if you want to create transactionally consistent backups, log truncation, and system file exclusions on the VM. Otherwise, skip this step. BDR Suite offers flexible backup scheduling options. Select the backup frequency for incremental backups. For this backup job, I've configured daily backups at 6 p.m. Only the initial backup is full. Afterwards, it is forever incremental backups. If you want to schedule periodic full backups, you can enable synthetic or additional full backup options. Click Next to proceed. Retention allows you to specify the number of days or versions to retain your backups. If disabled, all restore points will be retained. You can enable retention and customize the policies as per your storage and compliance requirements. Once done, click Next. Backup Data Encryption encrypts all the backup data during transfer and at rest. To protect backups using a custom password, you can enable backup encryption and add a password. Then click Next. Finally, review your backup job configuration. If you want to run the backup job immediately after configuration, you can check the box and click Save. Once again, click on Save on the confirmation dialog. You will be redirected to List of Backup Jobs page. Here you can click on In Progress icon to view the backup progress. Once the backup is completed, you can edit, check status, view reports, and manage your backup jobs from here. Click the report icon to view the backup job level report. Next, let us look into the Hyper-V recovery options. Navigate to the recovery menu and click on Restore Backup Data. Click on Restore button alongside the backup job from which you want to restore VM. BDR Suite offers multiple recovery options. You can choose to restore the backed up VMware VM as an entire VM or restore individual disks and volumes or restore only specific files and folders or granularly restore only the application items. First, I'll show you how to perform full VM recovery, using which you can restore the entire backed up VM to the source or different Hyper-V host. Select the VM you want to restore. Choose Full VM Recovery and click Next to proceed. Select the restore point you want to restore and click Next. Click on the search icon to select the target Hyper-V host and data store to restore. You can select an existing host or add a new Hyper-V host. Click Check Connectivity and Apply to proceed. Click on the file icon to choose the storage path. Select the storage path on the host and click OK. You can allot the memory for the target VM here. Once that's done, click Next. Finally, review your recovery configuration and click on Restore. Click OK Proceed on the confirmation dialog. You will be redirected to the Restore Backup data page. You can click the Progress icon to view the restore progress. Click on Reports icon to view the recovery report. Once the restore is successful, you will find the restored VM on the target host. Next, let us look into file level recovery, which allows you to restore individual files and folders from backup without restoring an entire machine. Select the VM you want to restore. Choose File Level Recovery and click Next to proceed. Select the restore point you want to restore and click Next. The backed up machine's disks and volumes will be listed here. Expand the tree and select the files and folders you want to restore. 
Click on Okta 17 2024 324 p.m. Then choose the destination host as this server. This allows you to download the file locally on the backup server. In the next release, you will have the option to restore the backed up files to its source VM. Click to browse and select the folder path on the backup server as the restore location. Then, you can choose to restore files and folders as a compressed and encrypted file with a password. Click Next. Finally, review your recovery configuration and click on Restore. Click OK Proceed on the confirmation dialog. To begin, click here. Click on the Reports icon to view the recovery report. Once the restore is successful, you will find the restored files and folders on the restore location. Next, I'll show you the Instant Boot VM Recovery. This process quickly restores the backed up VMware VMs on VMware, Hyper-V, or KVM hypervisors in just a few minutes. The backup data is mounted directly from the repository to the target hypervisor, creating a temporary, fully operational VM. Select the VM you want to restore. Choose Instant Boot VM and click Next to proceed. Select the restore point you want to restore. Choose the target hypervisor. For this demo, I've selected Hyper-V. You can set the RAM configurations here. Enter a unique name for your target VM. Once done, click Next to proceed. Finally, review all the recovery configurations and click Restore. Click OK Proceed on the confirmation dialog. You will be redirected to the Restore Backup Data page. You can click on the Progress icon to view the restore progress. Once the restore is complete, you'll find the backed up VM booted in the target Hyper-V host. For a detailed step-by-step -step process on other recovery options, check out the link in the description. Now it's your turn to give it a try. Visit our website to start your free trial, and if you need any assistance, contact BDR support. Thanks for watching.